Hey everybody, welcome to the Maine Wedding Buzz, and today we have Stacy McKenzie from Mary Kay, who's going to be talking to us about uh, makeup and bridal gift sets and things like that, things that you might need for your bridesmaids and actually even groomsmen's. So stay tuned and we're going to be talking. Hi Stacy, and welcome. Hi. Nice to see you. Thank you. Great to see you. Yeah, you too. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I live in Old Orchard Beach and I have two children. I'm married. I have a six-year-old son and a three-year-old son, William and Samuel. They keep me very busy. Nice. And um, I am a Mary Kay consultant, so it's pretty flexible um, to work around my husband's work schedule and um, my son's my son's school schedule. So. Now, Mary Kay consultant means you work from home or do you go out and do events, parties, things of that nature? What? I go out and do parties mostly. Okay. Um, if people want to come to my house for whatever reason, I have my house open for that as well. Nice. And um, how did you get started with Mary Kay? Well, I was actually getting married um, and I wanted to try all of, I wanted to get my look together for my wedding. And that was over seven years ago. Um, and I wanted to buy the products at a discount so I could try all the different looks. And I had fun doing parties, so I stayed with it. And then huh. when I, um, I was actually working full time at the time. And then when I had my son, William, he has special needs. So um, I said, well, thank God I have my Mary Kay um, business. So I quit my job, my full time job and um, stayed home and took and care of him and parties. took care of your business. Yeah. Nice. That's a good way. To, so seven years you've been with Mary Kay? Yep. All right. And so do you see that, um, it's interesting because I, I did a party once for Mary Kay in Philadelphia. They did a big picnic at the Philadelphia oh, Zoo. So it was kind of, you know, having you here sort of tied all that in. Um, do you see that girls are getting more into this to do the cosmetic part of it themselves and have like a bridal day with the girls and, you know, you come in and, and do their makeup and test run and then they could buy products. Do you see that a lot happening? Yes. Um, we, what we do is we give free facials or free makeovers um, and they can try it before they buy it as many times as they want. So if they oh, try wow. a certain look and they don't like it, we can wash it off, try again or make another appointment at an, another time. Mm -hmm. And um, and yes, girls do get together for um, either bachelorette parties or, um, That's a cute idea or bridal too. shows. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you do you do bridal shows? That's the other question I was going to ask. Now, do you do you go out and um, solicit in the bridal industry for that kind of things? Yes, I had a table at the Portland Bridal Show a few weeks ago, and um, and we display our products, and we get to, we get together with women for their free facials and mm -hmm. free makeovers to get their skin ready for their wedding, and also uh, try their their make different makeups makeup looks. Yeah. Now, how do you? Um help the brides with that part of it do you go to them like if they're say you have a bride who wants to hire you to come in and do the makeup and put it out do you do that kind of stuff um, you know at a hotel or at their home how does that go about I mean do you have a traveling little uh, Mary Kay case and you know set it up yes I do set it up and oh, nice. I go to their either their home wherever they they feel, they feel comfortable I'll go to their hotel and get them ready for their wedding oh wonderful yeah. and how um how often do you get brides to to give you a call? You know, is that something that you, every other call? Is it you know through the bridal show? Did you did you have a lot of response to that? Well, it's really up to me. Um, I mean, it, about once a month, I'll do I'll have um, a bride call. But if I want to, the great thing about Mary Kay is I can if I wanted to concentrate on brides I, I can do all brides if I wanted to oh, wow. or um, or I can and do it's not just brides it's everybody you can yeah yeah so. so I could go in and do the bridal party and the um, you know the mothers whoever they need and if there's a lot of people if I think that um, that more people need to come in and help me I have a team that oh, wow. can help me so you're one of uh, one of several in your in your team. Are you the team leader or part of you know? Is it broken down that this is your business and then you have people that work underneath you? Is that how that works? Yes, um, I do have. I am a team leader in Mary Kay. I'm working up to being a director. Oh, nice. Um, and directors, and I have a director out of Scarborough who helps me, um, and she's not really on my team. But that's what's great about Mary Kay. We're all kind of like sisters, and we can work together even if we're not on the direct team. How do you, um, 
how do you get people to follow you in the Mary Kay industry? You know, do you have um, Pinterest, uh, Twitter, uh, you know, Facebook, all of the things that you know we would see in, in other industries? Do you do, do you do that as well? I do have a Facebook page. Um, it's Stacy McKenzie, Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant. You can like my page, and um, it posts all the different products, um, especially when brand new one come, brand new products come out. Um, I haven't tried Twitter yet. <laughs> yep, it's it sometimes it, it sort of gets me. You know, I, I I get on there, I try, it, and you just go, oh, you know, <laughs> Facebook, and Pinterest. You're trying to keep up with everything. So yeah, um, how long has Mary Kay been around? Mary Kay has been around for over 50 years now, wow. since 1963. Mary Kay Ash started the company, um, and she started it with her life savings. She actually was retired from her job when she um, started her company. And um, and she died in 2001 on Thanksgiving Day, oh, wow. and um, and the company is still going strong. Family members still run it, or is it a private? Is it um, privately owned or not privately owned? It's privately owned, and her her grandson um, is now one of the presidents of the oh, company. Oh, interesting! Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Now, one of the questions I had asked about team members: How many team members do you have? I have about seven or eight right now, and um, and I'm working on getting 14 so I can get my first free car with Mary Kay. Wow, <laughs> you get a car? That's, that's mm -hmm. incredible. <laughs> Does it have to be pink? Is that with everybody? I've heard that, uh, pink Cadillac or something? Yep, um, they do have the pink Cadillac. The first free car is either a red or white Chevy Cruze. I'm going for the red. Oh, wow. And um, and then there's, so, there's some steps up. There are certain cars that you kind of have to choose from, but you can also take the cash if you don't need the car. Oh, wow. And tell us a little bit about this uh, magazine that's here that you have. Uh, oh, this is our lookbook, and it has all of our um, products in it, brand new products, and, and some trends in there as well. Um, we have the, um, the new Mary Kay Mineral Eye Color Quad, um, and it, it showcases all of our products, and especially the ones that are in for the season. And then, um, and we also have some makeup artist looks, like the Velvet Lux look and the Graphic Eye look. Now, how, do, how does one get that magazine? Do you subscribe to it? Uh, do you order it? Do you have those, um, like if our audience wanted to get their hands on one of those? Oh, you can just call me or text me and get one or email me. And also, um, if you become a regular customer of mine, I have them mailed to you. Oh, wow. So, so keep that in mind. At you know, at the end of the show, there'll be um, information on Stacy's um, website address and on her uh, phone number and things of that nature. So if you need any of that, it'll be on there. And how often do you do Mary Kay shows? Um, a, I try to do about three a week. Three a week. Yeah. And are they by invitation only? Well, yes. Um, I I have a hostess, and she invites her friends, and I try to get them get her to invite at least three to five of her friends. Nice. So you do three a week. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's challenging to, to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, are there conventions that people go to for Mary Kay, and where do they take place, and, and how often do they take place? Yes, um, we have some local conventions that we do um, once or twice a year. Uh, we have a fall retreat, and also um, we have a January jump start. And we also have a career conference in um, Connecticut, this coming year in March, and then we also go to Dallas every year for um, for a seminar, and that's huge. It's about five weeks long because there's so many consultants. Oh um, wow! But it's wonderful. It's so much fun. They have awards night. We dress up in ball gowns and um, nice. and they have a lot of entertainment. It's unbelievable. And that's five weeks, and you don't have to do all five weeks. It's just like, they're, because there's so many Mary Kays, I'm sure they spread it out between the five weeks. Yeah, they do. Wow. So we that's only incredible. go for four days. Um, and um, so there's different groups, you know, different groups, yes, that oh, go. Wow. And um, it's about four days, three nights, and we stay. And, um, for, and it's a lot of training. So we get trained every, every time, too. Holy moly, that's a lot. Yeah. Now, for um, bridal sets and gift sets, do you create those, or does Mary Kay have something like that that they can create? Like if a, if a bride came to you and said, oh, I have 20 bridesmaids and I want to give them all a little gift inside of, of a bag, and do you create that, or is that something that Mary Kay will do for you and then you 
Um, it's both. I can I can put together a bridal set, or um, Mary Kay does have a website where I can go on and get some ideas from them too. Oh, nice. They help out with that as well. And then they could just contact you for that information as yes. well. Yes. Yeah. Nice. What's your goal with Mary Kay and the wedding industry? So um, tying that sort of together. Well, I I would like to do, um, you know, about twenty brides next year, and. And I would, um, and I'd like to become a director with Mary Kay, and help other consultants nice. um, learn how to do brides and and parties. Now, when you say twenty brides for next year, how many did you have this past year, twenty fourteen? Um, I had about ten. Ten. That's not bad. So that's good. So you want to double it for next year. That's mm -hmm. excellent. That's excellent. So, do your brides normally get married in this area, or are they scattered throughout the state of Maine? Yes, um, this area. I did have uh, a couple in New Hampshire as oh, well. Oh wow! Yeah. So you do now? Can you do you travel out of state? Meaning yes. So you are allowed to do that. So. Yes. Oh wow! Yeah. That's actually really cool. So you can actually host parties, say in New Hampshire and and you know North Conway and those areas because I always think of it being far, but really New Hampshire is really not that far. So you can do that as well. How does um, one get a hold of you personally? And uh, will that be a phone number or you through your website? I know we asked this before, but if you want to give it out. Um, yeah, the best way to reach me is 207-590-0959 and you can call or text me. Good. And what what about um, trends for 2015? Do you see any any new things that are happening for 2015 that are that are going to take the um, makeup industry going? Wow, this is really cool. Women are really going to like this. And you know, I, we didn't talk a little bit about men too, so we'll talk about it after this question. But what are the new trends for 2015? Well, um, I know this season um, berry lips are coming back, um, and so a bright or or a neutral berry lip is is really popular, um, popular oh, wow. for the seat for the Christmas season and for 2015 I think it's not quite new but you really want to make sure that your foundation matches your skin tone um, and is that something that you, that you help with because you know I I don't know much about that so I'm just saying would somebody come in and say you know what works best for my skin is that something that you would take care of and say here, here, lay it out and then say, this works better, this works better. I mean, do you see a lot of women that come in and they're not wearing the right sort of um, patterns on their face and so you want to sort of kind of recreate that? Is that? Yes, with Mary Kay, we're saving the nation with foundation. Nice, I like that, <laughs> very cool. Sometimes, um, you know, you might see somebody with like a line or because they're wearing the wrong shade of foundation. So, um, so we do help with that. Um, what we do is we do like a stripe test mm -hmm. on their face with different colors, and and you can usually see which one blends we'll right blend. in. And we have different um, formulas of foundation too, oh, depending wonderful. on their preference wonderful. or their skin type. And um, the yeah, matching the foundation shade is very important. Um, is very important. Some some women do try to get color on their skin, like they try to go a little bit darker to mm -hmm. um, for more color, but really the best thing, in my opinion, is to match your foundation shade, and then you can use a bronzer and um, and a blush to get the color that you Interesting. want. Interesting. That's good to know. I mean, those are the things we, you know, I wouldn't know necessarily. Right. Um, what about men's products? Do you carry that for the groom and the groomsmen and things like that? Yes, we do. We have a wonderful line of men's products. We have a new age-fighting eye cream mm -hmm. for men and um, the skin care. We have a hydrator and um, for hydrating and also it has sunscreen in it for anti-aging and um, a men's face soap and shave, cream, shave foam and aftershave. Oh, wow. Is sensitive skin appropriate sometimes? Yes, we have. Um, we test our products for sensitive skin. Nice. So what's the new year bringing for you? Well, I want to get in that free car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you hear that, Mary Kay? <laughs> She's going for it. And no, I have accountability partners. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else on the horizon that you see? Any more shows that you're going to be doing that maybe um, the brides can see you at and, and talk to you? Yes, I will be doing a Portsmouth bride sh bridal show um, March 21st and 22nd, I believe, that okay. weekend. So, and then, um, too, you know, I'll, I'll reach out to the people over at Village by the Sea because they do a bridal show, too, as well. Oh, great. And that's one of our locations, so they can, um, you know, if you want to reach out to them, too, and see if you want to, you know, 
see if you can have a Mary Kay table there. That could work as well. Oh, thank you. So I appreciate you getting up early this morning and, and, and spending some time with us here at the Maine Wedding Buzz. As always, everyone, thank you for joining us. Uh, you know, we'll see you next week. And thank you again for joining in Maine Wedding Buzz. Thank you. Thank you.